And what we read about, we read about colonialization. Right? Read. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Because guess what? When the Europeans came over here, when the Spanish came, we wasn't speaking English, right? We wasn't speaking Spanish. No. Read. A nation of fierce continents. A nation of what? Fierce continents. A fierce countenance. They didn't care if you was young or old. We shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. So when the Europeans and the Spaniards came over here, whether if it was in North Central South America, whether it was on the west coast of Africa, they didn't care how young or how old. They was killing us by the dozens. The Bible is our history book for right, blacks right. and Hispanics, right? Because if you know about Hispanic history and, and the course of America, right, with the conquistadors, the Spaniards, colonialization, and chattel slavery, right? Now, I'll show you that in the scriptures. Get through right here. Um, a nation of fierce countenance. Because the same thing that happened to the Hispanics happened to the so-called Negro. Right. And we have to show you that this Bible is a history book as well. Right. But it's not being taught in other Christian dogma as history. Yeah. It's being taught to take your money, to abuse the people, to I lie said. to the people. Yeah. Prosperity, there you go. But let's show you some history according to the Bible. Let me show you. I'm going to show you colonialism. Because you agree, Jose, that we was colonized, that the Spaniards came over here, from the English to the Dutch, Bring it to the Portuguese. Let me show you that. Because, again, let me show you, Jose, that you are an Israelite from the tribe of Issachar. Issachar. I'm right there. You was never called Mexican according to the Bible. But well, let me show you how you became Mexican. Get, get that in suicide. Already. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 49. Bring it out! My brothers, my brothers, come over here for a minute. My two, three brothers, what's y'all name? Step right here. Come on, come on, come on. Come, come over here, come over here. We, we ain't showing black and Hispanic history in the Bible, right? right? You ever heard of slavery? You ever heard of us going into slavery on slave ships? I'm going to show you that. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. Hey, Jose, it said that the Lord should do what? Bring a nation against thee from far. So when we was over here, the Aztecs, the Mayans, the Incas, where did the Spaniards come from? Was it close or was it far? Was it near or was it far? It was far away. Same thing on the west coast of Africa when they came and take out, took our brothers from over there. They came all the way from Europe. Right? Come on. From the end of the earth. As swift as the eagle flies. So they came from one end of the earth as swift as the eagle. As they came real fast. They ain't come with one ship. It wasn't with the Mayflower. They came with plenty of ships. Hernan Cortez, Ponce de Leon, Francisco Benvoa. And this is your history, my brother. Don't go nowhere. That's right. He's showing you how we, we came into slavery on slave ships. Right. The same book that's in the church. It's also a history book. That's right. right. How come we got to go to school to learn some, some history when we go to church and we don't learn nothing? Right. As a matter of fact, you have this thing called critical race theory where they, they try to take out slavery out the, out the school. Right? Yeah. They say it's offensive to white kids that this happened. And don't say, don't forget, bro, don't go nowhere. They say that it's offensive. White, white kids say it's offensive to be taught black history. When in fact, black history is our history. We already know our history, right? That's right. Everybody know their history, but we do. Our history goes far as probably to our grandparents, if that. So it's offensive to you to learn my history? Who are you? But that's okay. We're going to teach the slave the Lord. We're going to teach what has not been taught that's in right. church or in these schools. And we challenge anyone to uh, come and ask questions. Come ask questions. Now, read on. Read from top. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth. As swift as an eagle flying. So what we read about, we read about colonialization. Right? Read. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Because guess what? When the Europeans came over here, when the Spanish came, we wasn't speaking English, right? We wasn't speaking Spanish. No. Read. A nation of fierce continents. A nation of what? Fierce continents. A fierce continents. They didn't care if you was young or old. We shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. So when the Europeans and the Spaniards came over here, whether if it was in North Central South America, whether it was on the west coast of Africa, they didn't care how young or how old. They was killing us by the dozens. 
Right. They were snatching us up. Now, if you don't believe the Bible, we have historical books as well. You got it? I got it. I'll do it. This is a book called Destru A Brief Account. Bring it out! Hey, Jose, you ever heard this book before? A Brief Account of Destruction of the Indies, right? It was by a Dominican friar called, his name was Bartolome de la Casa. So in this book, he wrote about the atrocities that took place over here on the side of the world. He, took, he wrote about things that happened in uh, Hispaniola, in, the, in uh, the Caribbeans, right? Now I want you to read that again from the top. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as an eagle fly. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. So to understand this, let's go into a brief account. Let's see if this matches up to what the scriptures say. I want you to read that. Uh, right there. Of, read the title. Of the island Hispaniola. So Hispaniola is in the Caribbean. This is what you know as Dominican Republic and Haiti. That whole mass right there, it was called Hispaniola. Because that was one of the first places where the Spaniards came. To Hispaniola. Let's see what, what he recorded there. Which the Spaniards... With the who? The Spaniards uh -huh. no sooner perceived, but they mounted on generous stands. Well, weapon. Well, what? Well, weapon. Oh, but wait a minute. Not only did they bring the white image of Jesus, you, know? you would thought they was trying to bring civilization and religion to our people. Right. But no, they brought weaponry. You know? What do you need weapons for? Bring it out. I'm gonna hold your question, brother. We teach you right now. I, I ain't gonna forget you, brother. I Sit. Got, I, I got a feeling to go to, but I just want to know. Did you read the book of Acts? Have you read the book of Acts? Yes, we have it right here. Yes. Yes. It don't go nowhere. We want to read more about your history. Don't do nothing. Something's going on right now. Don't, 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 don't. Something's going on right now. Something's going on right here. Now I'm gonna continue to read. Okay, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna deal with the axe. I'm gonna deal with the axe. I'm gonna deal with that. Now let's finish with this brief account. This is your history. Well, weapon with laces and swords. Laces and swords. That's what the Spaniards came over here with. Read. Begin to exercise their bloody butchery. Their what? Bloody butchery. Uh huh. And stratagems. And overrunning their cities and towns, spare no age or sex. Nay, next up much as women with child. What was that saying? They didn't, when they came over here, they came with their weapons. They came to kill. Oh, if you young, they didn't care. If you old, they didn't care. Right. If you was a woman, they didn't care. Right. Right. They came for blood. Right. They came for blood. Read on. But ripping up their bellies. Ripping out what? Up their bellies. So they're ripping the bellies of the pregnant women. Let's see what happened next. These are things that a brief account. This is a brief account that this man saw what was going on. Colonialization. Murder. Read. Ripping up their bellies. Tore them alive in pieces. So they was ripping up the belly, the, the pregnant mothers. They was tearing them in pieces, taking the baby, the fetus out. That's what they were doing. That's what they were doing, right? They laid wagers among themselves. So they made bets too. This is how sick these people are. Hey, they made I'm bets. I'm the day. Right. They laid wagers among themselves. Who shall, with a sword at one blow cut? Who shall, with a sword at one blow cut? So here's the wager. They made a bet. I bet I could cut this man in half with one swing of a sword. Come on. Or divide a man in two. Or which of them should decapitate or behead a man with the greatest detestery. So they was making bets on, okay, can I cut this man in half in one swing? Can I behead this person with one swing? These are the things that they, they that the, the colonizers did. The Europeans. Now we just read the brief account. Now we have to go back to the scriptures to see did that happen? And who did it happen to? The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 49. Bring it up. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. Again, the Spaniards, they came from far, right? Read. From the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flying. A nation who tongue thou shalt not understand. Again, we wasn't speaking Portuguese. We wasn't speaking Spanish. I know some of us brought up, was, was grew up speaking Spanish, but that was, that's not our true language. That was never our original language, Jose. Read. A nation of fierce countenance. We just read that, that book, that fierce countenance. For example, they would make bets. 
Or how many slices it would take for me to cut a man in half? Or how many slices did it take for me to cut a person's head off? Bring it out! Who does that? Who does that to a person? Who makes a bet on, oh man, how many, how many swings did it take Teach. to cut someone in half? But these are the things that the colonizers did. They didn't spare. They didn't care if he was young or old. Again, we have to talk about these things because first and foremost, it's in the Bible. That's right. And the Bible talks about a set of people, the Israelites. That's right. We are the Israelites. That's, That's right. our true nationality. Finish up. A nation of fierce continents, uh -huh. which shall not regard the person of the old. So again, Jose, they don't care how old you are. Read. Nor show favor to the young. Again, they don't care how young you are. I want to show you something, Jose. Step here, real quick. I know you're listening, but I, I like the we, we we about engaging our people, That's right? That's right. We about engaging our people. For right. example, right. you see this picture right here. You see that? What you see right there? Take a good look at it. What do you see right here? A baby. What do you see behind that baby? An alligator. Did you know? Did you know? That these people, they used to feed our babies to alligators to get the, they was using our babies as alligator bait. Bring it out. Because with alligators you can make purses, you make gator boots, belts, ja jackets. Where do you think those boots came from? Right. It came from a, from the baby right there. They, they had tied the baby up and they had throw it in the swamp. And by the baby crying, they had to get the attention of the alligator and the alligator would swallow the baby and then they attack. These are things that happen to our people. Right. Did none of this happen to our people? Did none, none of these atrocities happen to no other race of people but our people? That's right. right. Again, what do we read? We read the Bible. Now, Jose, I read a brief account. And now we're going back to the scriptures. Now finish up. And he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle and the fruit of thy land until thou be destroyed, which also shall not leave thee either corn, wine, or oil. And what happened? They took our resources and they gave us nothing. They came over here and took all our resources. That's why you can have a continent in Africa rich in all type of minerals and resources, but the people that live there are poor. Hey Jose, that's why you have people in Venezuela, they have the oil refineries over there, but Venezuela is at, is, is at a point of poverty. That's why you have all these migrants that's coming over here. That's why when you look at these police stations, who you see at the police stations in capping out? Right, right. Jose, who do you see? Have you ever rolled past the police station? You see tents and sleeping bags outside the police stations? <laughs> who are those people? That's our people. Right. Hey, yo. That's our people. Bring it out. That's our people. How can we be from a place where it's rich in minerals and resources, but we have nothing? Right. Why? Because these people take everything we got. Bring it out. But matter of fact, who sent them? The Lord sent them. But why did he send them? Let's go back to Deuteronomy 28, 15. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Again, we're talking about history. We're talking about our history. But, uh, but how to get a step closer to understanding history is why. Because we can teach about history, but why did it happen? Why? Why did colonization take place? Why did slavery take place? Read. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Hey, my brother, make sure you read that flyer. But nonetheless, all these things happen to our people. Why? Because we don't want to listen to God. Right. We don't want to serve the Lord. Bring it out. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. 